George Weed started the Newport Jazz Festival outdoors on a stage on a tennis court. And here we are in 2022. So it was 1969 that George came down and had this idea. And the people that brought him down said, we want a festival like Newport. George said, we'll get somebody else. He said, what? He said, well, if you do that, you'll only have a festival like Newport. But New Orleans has something no one else in the world can claim, and that's the birthright to jazz. Yeah. So he wanted a festival like this. He wanted a festival with all the culture and all the music that's in New Orleans, the gospel, the blues, the Mardi Gras Indians, jazz, everything. And, and that's what he put together. He was out here in an empty field in 1972 and told the reporter, this will be a festival the whole world will come to. Now, how George knew that in 1972, I don't know. And to really honor him, three of, I don't know how to say, they're the greatest jazz music, the most iconic worldwide jazz musicians of New Orleans have come here and agreed to play. That's Roger Lewis on the baritone. Woo! Gregory Blody Davis on the trumpet. And the man that revolutionized the big horn playing, Kirk Joseph. Yeah. 